Good morning, everyone. This is Colby Anderson here for the Hidebound Convivium. I apologize for my extreme tardiness in uh, uploading videos to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be quite honest. I put my channel on the back burner while um, I dealt with a particularly demanding semester at school. Uh, I was taking... Um, upwards of 20 hours and I also had additional responsibilities uh, placed on me as a editor for the school newspaper. I, I am uh, one of the news editors or was one of the news editors for a small newspaper for a, a small public university and uh, that on top of classes gave me very little time to uh, pursue putting videos on the channel but uh, here I am again. It is the summer before my last year of school, and I'm hoping to revive the practice and to really get the channel rolling this summer. That's uh, that's my hope for this summer. So, like I said, my last year of school is coming up, which means I'm going to be a uh, practicing teacher, I guess you could say, or a, a licensed teacher in, in the state that I live in um, within a year or so. And that has caused me to rethink some of the things perhaps uh, that I wanted the channel to be about, and I definitely want to pick up with a more uh, educational uh, or sorry, with a, a focus more on education, maybe how education intersects uh, with other things going on in the news, for example. I'll still cover politics uh, and religion because those things particularly interest me, but I would also like to do, uh, you know, little segments on literature and education. Something that particularly interests me is the use of the trivium which is the old uh, medieval uh, curriculum uh, with modern-day high school kids. You see, in, in the Middle Ages, uh, children would be taught by a specific curriculum that included logic, grammar, and rhetoric training. Uh, I think those three things are very important foundational skills that uh, many of our youth just aren't getting. And I realized something uh, while I was studying up on, on medieval education is that when children went into the university in the Middle Ages, they were generally very young, um, at least high school age, if not younger. So I think not only has these have these uh, curricular systems worked with these age children in the past, I think they worked quite swimmingly and they produced, you know, v very brilliant people. Uh, so that's one of the things that I would like to focus on is uh, sort of a, a revival of classical education, maybe how classical education uh, can be done within the current framework of our current educational system. Uh, so over the past couple months, I have um, I have noticed there have been several changes in the the tone and tenor of uh, the religious and political debates on YouTube. Uh, I myself have changed a little bit in my own. Uh, political and religious outlook. Uh, for example, you know, I was wrestling for a pretty long time with whether or not I actually believed in uh, Darwinian evolution, for example, and I have grown to become a lot more skeptical of, um, you know, scientific narratives like Darwinian evolution. Uh, and, and things of that nature. So, you know, it, I feel like I've become a little bit more of interesting of an intellectual figure, but, uh, you know, I won't divulge everything here. I'll make subsequent videos, and, and we can talk about things. Um, there's also been a lot going on in the church lately. There's been, you know, of course, scandal after scandal. Um, it seems like nothing can leave the Pope's mouth that doesn't cause at least extreme confusion, if not, you know, a large group of people to suspect him of 
uh, a heretical thought. Uh, obviously, the, in the similar vein, there have been, you know, there was the Dubia. I guess that was back, what, in uh, 2017? And uh, now there is a formal accusation of heresy uh, levied against the Pope, which has still not been answered. And, uh, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to stoke the fires of conspiracy theories or anything like that, but, um, you know, those are things that are happening in the news, and, uh, you know, I, I intend to talk about them at some point, given its relevance to my Catholic faith. Uh, going forward also, something that's relevant to my Catholic faith, is the abortion debate, which has exploded in uh, heat, intensity, passion, uh, you know, I, I don't know, but I feel like people in this country have realized that we can't have these two parallel moral systems, and people are going to have to decide, you know, where they line up on this spectrum of, you know, is an unborn child a person, or isn't it? Uh, you know, there's there's no real room for talking anymore. It's really just about who can force their policy through. Um, so it's it's interesting. And I, and I ask you all to uh, pray for the situation and, of course, pray for respect for life. In closing, I, I want to say that uh, I have a new channel uh, icon, basically. Uh, I was thinking for a while about what I could do to uh, sort of gussy up videos where I don't necessarily want to show my face. Um, the camera on my computer is not really that great, so you know, you're not getting the best quality. Uh, I adopted uh, St. Jean Baptiste de La Salle as the patron saint of the channel, given that he is the patron saint of educators of youth. I thought that was particularly fitting. So he is, in essence, the, uh, the channel icon. And that's why you'll, you'll see him from now on in videos where I don't particularly want to uh, show my face. I don't feel like shooting a video or, or what have you. But anyway, guys, that's housekeeping stuff uh, for May the 28th. I'm hoping to have videos out regularly again perhaps uh, once or twice a week, and uh, I'll give you guys some updates uh, as those start rolling out on directions that I want to take the channel and things I want to talk about and things of that nature. This is Colby Anderson from the Highbound Convivium, signing off.